So hello and welcome to this uh, Adobe Anime tutorial and I'm going to show you how you can create this kind of uh, fake art animation uh, in Adobe Animate. And the truth is that uh, I don't really like the result in Adobe Animate and in After Effects or uh, in Cinema 4D. You can create much better animations, but you cannot do it uh, in After Effects as HTML5, uh, at least not that easy way. Uh, so I would like to show you how you can do something like this in Adobe Animate. Uh, so right now I am uh, in the side uh, prepick and I'm going to provide the link in the description and I will also give you the illustrator file that I'm going to create right now in case that this won't be free in the future. Uh, so right now I'm going to click uh, download and I will go with free download but keep in mind that you will have to attribute the author if you want to use this commercially. I will hit uh, cancel because I already saved this and I will go to the place where I have it. Uh, very quickly I am going to get rid of uh, everything like so and I'm going to get the uh, have only zip file like this. And I will right click and I'm going to choose extract here. Uh, right now I'm going to double click on this epos file and it is going to open with this in, a, in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, with, can some, with some kind of warning, but I'm just going to basically click uh, no. Uh, now, what I want to do is uh, I, don't I do not want to change anything in here and I will go to the Adobe Animate. And I'm going to create a new document and uh, I can go with any width and height and I want this to be HTML5 canvas. So basically I'm just going to hit uh, create. Uh, now uh, I will go back to the Adobe Illustrator and uh, I am going to click and I am going to drag all of the map uh, to, the, to the Adobe Animate like so. This will give me some kind of options but I don't want to change anything so I will just click OK. Uh, now I would like to change the color of this so I am going to double click and then I am going to double click one more time. So right now I am in the scene one, in the group, in the group and right now I can go ahead and change the color to maybe some kind of green color like so. And I am going to click on the scene one to go back. Uh, now I am going to pause position this little bit to the, to the right like so. If uh, for any reason you don't see things outside of the stage you can click this uh, clip content outside of the stage and uh, you will see it and then you won't see it. Uh, now what I want to do is uh, I, will, uh, I will create a new uh, layer and I will, get, I will go to the oval tool. Uh, now I am going to choose some kind of fill color, so I will go ahead and maybe choose some kind of, I will choose uh, some kind of blue color and I will get rid of the stroke color. So I'm going to double click uh, or only click and I'm going to get rid of it like so. And now I'm going to uh, create a shape like this uh, while holding shift. And now what I want to do is uh, I'm going to duplicate this. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose uh, duplicate the layers. Uh, now I am going to rename the layer, so this bottom one is going to be map, like uh, so. Uh, then uh, this one, I am going to call it to be earth, and uh, the, the top one is going to be mask, uh, like so. Uh, now what I want to do uh, is uh, I am going to position the map uh, uh, like so. So the mask layer is going to be over the, the, the map. And what I am going to do uh, right now is uh, I am going to position uh, my, uh, my map like uh, so. Maybe I am going to scale it down a little bit. Uh, so Q and uh, I am going to scale it a little bit down like so. And I will click on this mask layer and I will right click and I am going to uh, choose uh, mask. And uh, right now what is going to happen is that the, my map is going to be visible only where the, where the map is. And what I can do is uh, uh, right now I am going to unlock this like so and I am going to uh, maybe position this little bit like so and then I can uh, lock it one more time and I will see the, the result. And basically uh, now what I want to do is I would like to convert this map to the symbol to be able to mm, animate it. So I am going to click on it, I will go to the modify and I am going to choose convert to symbol or you can go with F8 and uh, I can go ahead and call this to be map and I will choose that it is movie clip and I will click OK. Uh, now uh, I can go ahead maybe to frame uh, 100 uh, like uh, so and I'm going to click F5 or you can basically right click and choose uh, insert the uh, frame like so. So uh, this way we have just extended the timeline and maybe I can go to the I can go to the map, uh, map layer uh, and maybe I will go in here and I'm going to click F6 and I'm going to basically uh, move this, uh, move this uh, like uh, so. And then I will uh, create the classic twin 
and I am going to log uh, the layers. And uh, right now we are going to basically uh, have something like uh, something like this. And if I'm going to hit Control Enter uh, to see this uh, in the to see this in the browser, uh, we are going to have uh, something like this. Uh, now, very quickly, I can go ahead and. Uh, and uh, show you one more thing and that's basically uh, if you want to have this uh, like multiple times what you could do uh, is uh, you can go ahead and uh, double click on this map and in here I can go ahead and uh, and with alt or option uh, duplicate it like uh, like so and yeah I don't know how much space <laughs> uh, should be in here but uh, but yeah I don't care for now and uh, yeah and now uh, what I can do is uh, if I want I can extend this animation so I can go maybe to frame uh, 200 and I'm going to click uh, F5 and uh, and I'm going to get this keyframe and this keyframe I'm going to drag uh, maybe maybe in here maybe a little bit more until the end I don't know like so and uh, right now what I can do is with my shift and arrows I can uh, position it like uh, like so and uh, yeah now I will have to I will have to log it uh, like uh, so and we are going to we are going to have uh, this uh, animation like so and yeah basically right now I'm going to hit uh, control enter one more time and we are going to we are going to have uh, something like uh, something like this uh, so yeah this is it this is all this was uh, just a very quick uh, a uh, very quick tutorial and as I said I really don't like this animation because the earth is not rotating this way uh, it should be a little bit uh, different uh, but in After Effects we have uh, tools to do something like this uh, maybe also in Adobe Animate but Adobe Animate is not as much for this kind of effects but yeah thank you very much uh, and uh, yeah hopefully I will see you in some other tutorial